Check us out on the internet at 3boutdoors.com, plus YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I get asked a lot, is tight lining dead? Everyone thinks that forward-facing sonar is the rage, and it is. It really works, catches a lot of big fish, but that's not the only technique that'll catch early winter smallmouth. Mary Loop and I are on South Holston Lake, and we're gonna give them a shot tight lining. And we catch a few, and yes, we bang a good one or two on a different bait. You'll just have to wait and see what that is. I'm Nathan White. Thanks for watching 3B Outdoors. He is a good one, 3B Outdoors, boys. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's a big, big bass, Barry. Yes. Twelve pound even, <laughs> biggest fish I ever caught. That too. Just happen. Won't catch anything like this out on the water. Thanks to the good Lord that he gave me a day that I could come out and do this. I mean, just so blessed. 3B Outdoors is brought to you by Visit Kingsport, Tennessee. Sun's coming up behind you there on this over your shoulder. Yeah, it's 8 o'clock, but it's 25 degrees. I'm just morning. That's it, big bass, Barry. Feel good to be out here, doesn't it? You can tell him. A little Irish. Fresh. A little chill. Sun's coming out though, or it is out, so it'll warm up. It's supposed to be about 49 or 50 today, so that'll be better than 29. Oh yeah. They don't care. So get them going. Let's do it, baby. Power poles up. around that brush coming across there, don't they? Yeah. I hope so. The logs might be too. Then. There's a little old pocket rocket we always use to get them unhung with. You just wind your line right around the little corkscrew on there and slide it down, shake it, knocks it loose every time. Almost every time. He can come back, back to here, back to me, wouldn't he? The giant sized. That's what we like to catch to warm up with right there. Maybe about 13 inch. -er. Yeah. Not hardly tater worthy. No. That's a good one, feels like. He's not big, he's just mean. He's a little better than what we had. But never could catch up with him. He's a jumper. He's liking to play. Yeah. Yeah. And out there's deadly. They're growing up, maybe. I thought he was a little better than what he was. I couldn't catch up with him. He's off to the races. Maybe we'll get one good in a minute. Might be a big one. Yeah, this one seems to be a little better here. He got a little head shake to him, maybe. Two cash and row, they're in there, ain't they? Ah, uh, yeah. Can't tell if he's very good or not. Yeah, I bet Haven't you seen he is. Him yet. He's a good one. Okay. Roger Stapleton would be proud, wouldn't he? Oh, he would be. Raise the head hanging out of his head. Come on. 
a beautiful sight right there, right in the top of that jaw. In the sun, pop it right out. Beautiful, good, solid fish right there, boys. Tell me. It's two bites and two casts. I like it. Adios. I like it. Thank that, you for the fight. Yes, sir, and that's a tater right there now. Good job. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Luminox are brighter, more durable, and with replaceable batteries, the longest lasting compound and crossbow lighted knocks on the market, period. When your moment of truth comes, rely on the only lighted knock trusted by the best. Luminox. Light them up at Luminox.com. Have you been charged with a crime? Do you know your constitutional rights? For a free criminal defense consultation, call 423-291-8021. Serving Tennessee and Virginia with offices in Kingsport and Rogersville. Jim Williams and Associates, Attorneys at Law. Dixie Custom Rods is 100% focused on building rods for every technique, all the way from finesse fishing up to power fishing. My buddy and owner, Dwayne Wilson, builds superior custom rods with unmatched care, quality, and craftsmanship. His new Carbon Elite Series rods are incredibly light, super sensitive, and strong. The Tightline Special, designed to my specifications, is versatile and perfect for multiple applications. It also continues to be a bestseller. Load up your front deck at DixieCustomRodsAndTackle.com. Heard the drag zip a little bit. And there we go. There he is. There he is. I think we hit the thing at. That's where they're at right there. They're pretty in that water, ain't they? Yeah, that water's. I don't want to come make it better. A little flat. Yeah. Pretty fish. Good solid keeper. And there he goes, there back he to goes. his rock ledge. <laughs> How many in row? Three. Three, up three in that one spot. That one little spot over there. The goal is just catch some big ones, get on film, man. Hmm? The goal is just catch some big ones, get on film. Yeah, it's always the goal, but it's really hard to do. Yeah. And big ones just don't show up like we want them to, yeah. or when we want them to. True. Let's tie me one on. I can tie one on now. Wait till we get up there. Tie me one on now before we get. You want? I might tie me one on before we get up in there. Yeah. Crankbait or? Yeah. Big one, big one. Big one, big one, big one, big one, I think. He's a good one. God, where you get that thing? It's a big one, John. I mean, that's a big one. 
That's a big one. I am not joking. <laughs> Look at that dude, man. That a boy. <laughs> That bait's gone, man. <laughs> Look at that. Look what a spud, yeah. Look what a spud. You don't know how good that feels. Good gosh, like what a bass. I'm telling you, he talked it, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look here. Gone. There's the pliers. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I needed that. I needed that big one. Oh, it feels good. You just don't know how good that feels. That's a 22 inch fish. Golly. Thank you, Jesus. All right, buddy. Thank you, bud. Good one, big one, winter time. You just don't know how good that feels. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Whew. It'll go about seven or eight feet deep. Wild thing. I like that color this time of year. I don't know something about that yellow. Been doing good, but... Wild thing. Wild thing. Oh, wild thing. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> Even if you had a deeper diving crankbait, where it runs on out there, not in five or six, but like... 10 or 15, we've caught them out there before. Even in the wonderful water temperatures, 40s, you know what I mean? They're laying, I mean, they're laying, they lay on both sides, but just something about that. See how the wind's hitting it, too? Got him. That's a fish. God, mm -hmm. I'm big and too, buddy. Golly. <laughs> what I tell you, man? Where's the. <laughs> Stay on there, baby. Stay on there. What I tell you? What I tell you? I said, let's go over right here at this place so that it'll be in there. <laughs> go, up, go up front. Uh, what oh. I tell you, dude? Huh? Good night. When he come up, I'm thinking, oh my, look at that. Wasn't going nowhere, I had him pinned good. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Goodman Jewelers of Chilhowee, Virginia was founded in 1959 on principles of trust, honesty, superior quality, and family values. Mike Goodman is a master jeweler with over 45 years of experience in jewelry design, repair, restoration, and manufacturing. Our professional staff delights in helping you to find unique treasures, engagement rings, and wedding bands to make your special gift dreams come true, including state-of-the-art laser engraving. Visit our showroom for amazing prices and selection. Great customer service is always our pleasure to give. Whether you're spending the day running around at 70 miles an hour in a high-powered bass boat, fishing a competitive stress field tournament, or just enjoying a day on the lake, you can never have enough, Dr. Enough. Facing a divorce or child custody matter? Are you familiar with divorce, custody, and support laws? For a free family law consultation, call 423-291-8120. Serving Tennessee and Virginia with offices in Kingsport and Rogersville, Jim Williams and Associates, Attorneys at Law. Nobody wants to run out of power when they're on the water. There is a better way. Introducing the Charge Marine Power Management Station from PowerPole that does the work of three devices, a traditional battery charger, a charge on the run, and an emergency start system. PowerPole Charge. Get my old Avid Angler Solutions pliers out. Can't be proud of me. 
rock crawler. My ex glass rod from Dixie. And look at here. <laughs> Dude. Is that not special right there? Woo. That's a definitely a tiger boy. Tiger. Yeah. Man. What? She come up there and sloshed around. I knew. Wasn't no little bitty. She wasn't playing. Secret stuff. I don't know if you, my old buddy Mike Stout, fixed me up with some of the most awesome deer jerky you've ever had. Oh, it's a little warm. Well, I can't handle that. You can't handle it spicy. Oh man, are you kidding? Well, I'm not joking. It ain't super hot, just enough to. I'll try a piece. I might regret it. But, you know. I watched him. Huh? I watched him. A walleye. Is it? A walleye. How big do they have to be? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to throw him back. <laughs> back. We're just throwing him back. Too much time. Well done. That little bass. A little witchy bitchy bass. Hey. Don't call nothing. There baby. you go. Don't call nothing. Edible. Don't call nothing. I believe this is some of that John Wayne toilet paper. I got you. Rough on the cob won't take no crap off nobody. Yeah. Now that's rough, ain't it? Yeah, rough on no nose. I know that. Yeah, he'll do. It's a little large mouth, I think. Green head. We'll take him. We'll take him. We'll take him. Old green head. He's a little 12, 13 incher. He'd do well. We'll take him. He knew the drill. Oh, I gave him about 10 on that dive. No splice, good form. We got company. Oh! <laughs> that skeeter snuck right in here on us. Catch y'all playing. <laughs> It'd be hard to do that. Old buddy Jim Byington. We go way back a little bit, don't we? Yeah, I got a picture of me up in a tree. <laughs> in a tree? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he got his lure hung up in a tree about 20 years ago, 25. Been got that long ago. I dug it out on him not too long ago, too. Yeah, he sent it to me. I've got it. You never know who you're going to meet on the lake. Y'all have a good day. Hey, you too, brother. Good to see you. Good to see, see you. See, right there goes a whole slew of them right here, right under the boat. They're in here everywhere. Yeah, this bass are running and pushing them up, and then the seagulls see them and they start feeding on them, don't they? Yep. Get them up someday. Old pocket rocket, not an ugly head jig loose again. That's about three times we've saved lures today. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Like I said, I may not throw Harry down through there. I may throw ugly head. Mm. Yes, sir. That mm. I like it. Yeah, baby. Like I said, I don't think I'll throw Harry. I believe I'll keep throwing the ugly head for a few more casts.
vegan. No, I don't know. It got up with him. I don't think so. Well, they fun regardless. Well, they don't call nothing. There you go. Whoa. Oh. This need to Whoa. grow up. Shell bank. Like it. Slides. Yep. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. No matter your passion, whether you love shooting or hunting, we got you covered. For a while now, you've been hearing about the secrets of using Avid Angler's Fish in the Glue. Don't just take it from me, listen to these guys. Not only is this glue super strong, it's very long lasting. I've had the same bottle in my boat all through the summer months without drying out. Dude, this glue is amazing. It helps me catch more fish. I've been fishing tournaments for over 30 years, used almost every glue on the market. This is 100% the only fishing glue you need. To get your bottle of Avid Angler's Fishing Glue, go buy your Bass Pro Shop or online. Chris Dettering. Hey, buddy, what's going on? Hey, buddy, look, I need to borrow your four-wheeler. Me and uh, Death have got some things we want to try. All right, I'll bring it to you. Thanks, bud. All right, bye. That'd be funny if I said I'd buy Freddie another one. Let's check these weeds out. Here we go. By the way. Hold on, dude. Oh, yeah. Chris Dedrick, Mill Creek Construction, proud sponsor, big fan of 3B Outdoors. W line. Pull up all four strands in one hand. Twist it three times. One, two, three. Bring that lure right back through the loop. Cinch it down as you slide it over the head. Just pull it down. You want that tight right there. That's about a perfect loop knot right there, the size. And trim off the other three. Make sure you don't get the main line or you get tied again. There you go. Ugly head with the loop knot. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Hold on. Changed up on them, still tight line. First bite we've had on the gulp. Of course, that hadn't been throwing it too long. Pretty nice little small mouth right there. Good chunker. Beautiful in the sun, isn't it? Yeah, let's get him back. Ooh, baby, baby. Yes, sir. Tater. Boom. Fish? Yeah. I think it's fish. Got that little gulp in his head, don't you? You get him. Oh, you yeah. get him. You get him. That's what I told old coach, you know, that big <laughs> You get him. You get him. Get him. Oh, boy. <laughs> Look at that. You Look got at him. that. Got him a tattoo. What a fish. I'm vegan. Hold on.
He's gone. And I'll leave this gently goes back to wherever he was laying. You get him. You get him, Dustin Coates. That's for Dustin Coates. That a boy. At the pink house. There you go. Remember that? Yeah. That's the biggest one I ever caught. And then he ended up catching two more bigger than that that I day. I know it. Old I Coates. miss him. I do too. He's flying high in heaven, ain't he? He's doing good. Amen. That's for you, Big D. I got him. I got him. <laughs> good job. It's on just a little bit different bait than Nathan is. This is a vertically chanked minnow. It's got basically the same same profile. Uh, it's power bait. It's not like the go up. I'm, I've got a 3 16 ounce head on it. Uh, about the first time I threw it, I caught that big green head on it. So you can catch them on a lot of different things, tight lining. Anything from the ugly head to, oh, I thought you did <laughs> set the hook from the little net head type stuff where you can throw the, the gulp or any kind of little mini bait sometimes tight line will work. So work for me anyway. Thank you, Lord. Let's find it like 3.8. Let me get, let Barry get this fish in here. Yeah, Barry, are you fishing? Yeah, we're up on South Post. He's got about a two and a half pounder. My goodness. Yeah. Well, I didn't know that, I'll, I'll let you go. No, you're fine. It's all good. Yeah. Uh, good job, Barry. What did he get, a small mouth? Yeah, on tight line. Uh, of course he did. <laughs> <laughs> of course he did. Yeah, of course he did. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Let me see. Well, there you have it. Tight line is not dead. All you do is shake, shake, shake. Sometimes though, you gotta crank, crank, crank. And that's what we did and bagged a couple of good fish. Man, I caught that good large mouth. Barry caught that good small mouth. And yes, we caught a few good fish tight line. All in all, a great day, early winter on South Holston. You can't beat it. Next week, for any of those hunting guys, you better watch it because I guarantee you, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be exciting, and they will shoot at something. I'm Nathan White. Thanks for watching 3B Outdoors. God bless and best pieces. I was trying to be all serious with you. You're going to go no, making no. jokes. You're not serious. Uh, no, I mean, not really. <laughs> but if we can have a lot of fun with 3B Outdoors. I'm tired. You tired? Check us out on the internet at 3boutdoors.com plus YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.